purple purple Gatorade's growing on me, man. Like, I, it, it really is. Anyway, hope you all are doing well. My name is Tyler. If you are new here, please remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. If you are brand new, this is the most bar random barrage of content on this channel you will ever see. Today we are going to be talking about Jaws. And, and not the not the jaw, not like a human jaw, okay? No, that'd be weird. That'd be like super, super... Jaws the Movie by Steven, well, directed by Steven Spielberg, the legend himself. This movie is just remarkable. It's just incredible that this movie remains the king, in my opinion, the king of all monster movies. I watch this movie probably once a year. Uh, like, I just feel like watching it, like, at a certain random time if I find myself. And I recently gave it another rewatch, and I swear, it's like every time I rewatch the movie, it's like it's the first time I'm seeing it. I still get nervous for the three main characters. I still analyze and, like, just, just pick new, th see, notice new things and, like, ways to think of the movie it's it's a remarkable film and the first point i wanted to get into is hollywood does not understand ever since this movie was released and this has been pointed out in hundreds of articles around this topic that i'm talking about um but it's a pretty obvious one hollywood doesn't understand that it wasn't the shark that made this movie what it is today it not at all it's the characters. One of the first things I love about Jaws is it's kind of like a great example of less is more. Uh, you know, every other shark movie, even the sequels that follow Jaws, which other than Jaws 2, Jaws 3 and 4 are so bad, I don't even like... 4 makes me want to like rip my, my, head, my head off. Like, it is the worst movie I've ever seen. It's literally about a shark that wants to get revenge on the Brody family. And it travels to the Bahamas with them. You might as well made a movie about Sky Jaws. I mean, seriously, like that is the stupidest movie of all time. Anyway, every single shark movie seems to get wrong, like how they show the shark way too much. It is the, the shark's the main character of the movie. But in Jaws, that is just ridiculously not the truth. I think the shark, I read a stat where it's on the screen, like you can see it visually for four minutes of the entire movie. That's unbelievable. In fact, I don't even think, uh, the scariest scene in Jaws, actually, the first time I saw it, the shark wasn't even in the scene, actually. It was of um, when Quint delivers the USS Indianapolis monologue. It's literally them, it's like the ultimate character building scene of these three characters that come together to kill this beast. Uh, and, and Quint tells the story of when he was on the USS Indianapolis, and it's just three guys talking, and it is the scariest scene of the movie, and I stand by that. That is just a testament to the incredible, incredible chemistry, acting, and character development of Jaws, and that's what makes it such a great movie. And some people don't even realize that it's not the shark, because it is hard to realize that it's actually the characters you, you grow to love and care about, and when stuff goes away, you genuinely feel nervous for them. Unlike other shark movies, so many characters are so unlikable. You don't even really get to know them or their personal life. Like, you get introduced to in Jaws 1, you get introduced to Brody and his family. Uh, you In the USS Indianapolis speech, you know, Quint's kind of just like some, some psycho kind of um, type of dude throughout the, you know, the first bit of the movie, but then you understand why he's the way he is, the trauma, the, the the fear, I guess you could say that he's kind of just resisting. Uh, and then you got Hooper, who is just a scientist, uh, you know, kind of freelancer and, you know, just wanting to help. He's a genuinely caring guy that wants to help. You know, all, got, all, all three of these guys you can just really care for, and that's what makes Jaws so great. And I, I do think that the USS Indianapolis speech is kind of a shifted into that scene. I'm sorry. But I do think the USS Indianapolis scene is the glue that holds this movie together. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I think the best way to make a shark movie is have the shark be suspenseful. Assume where it may be while developing the characters for the finale. And if you can get that right, and it's going to be tough, you're going to deliver the next great shark blockbuster and do i think we're ever gonna see this absolutely not what helped jaws a lot too is they use it in animatronic unlike cgi that are it looks terrible like 
absolutely garbage on so many movies where they like the shark's not even real you can totally tell it looks like a freaking cartoon but jaws was like an animatronic it looked actually so real um other than like its eyes at times but yeah no that's another great reason as to why and you know almost like i think i read that the shark animatronics were not working uh so steven spielberg had to improvise in the less is more you know leaving like the victims you know kind of helpless far out in the ocean no peers or anything to cling on to other than the than a boys um out there i think that's how you say it the b-u-o-y-s that boys boys i boys i i don't know i'm sorry i that's embarrassing okay uh but yeah also um it really helps in jaws case this is something that some movies will not be able to control john freaking williams this started john williams career pretty much and this also kind of started spielberg's career it pretty much was the start of two great future legends in the cinema universe uh john williams delivers a score that is debatably the greatest score of any movie of all time and it's just, I think, two piano keys. Dun 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 dun. Or it's like something like that. And even Spielberg, when he first heard this score, like laughed at it. Uh, but after giving it more chances, uh, John Williams and insisting on him to give it more chances, Spiel Spielberg kind of started to realize that it actually worked for the movie. And that was the birth of the Jaws theme. There's not ever going to be a more iconic monster movie theme than the Jaws theme. So that's that's the one thing I'm willing to push aside when I'm like thinking of like the next big shark movie. I don't think we're ever gonna like get a better shark movie, and it's largely because of the soundtrack. You can't match that perfection of a soundtrack. Like John Williams is the greatest composer in cinema history. I mean, just look at the dude's resume. Uh, and Jaws was the, the kickstart of it all, and I think he is the reason why this movie will forever stay the greatest shark movie of all time. And I also, like, really loved how uh, throughout the movie they have s different, like, ty styles of how the camera is, like, zooming into the characters. Like, Brody when, um, I think his name, the character, the little boy that dies, uh, Alex Kittner, when he dies on his raft, when they p uh, pan into Brody, like, it was like a, I forgot what they used, but it was a completely, like, unique style of, like, zooming in to the character. That really makes the movie stand out a little bit more. It makes you respect the movie a lot more too because like that i don't think that was ever done prior to jaws or it was like maybe done once or twice by movies unknown but anyway this is going to be a pretty short video i just wanted to come on here and talk about jaws man it's an absolute dope movie if anyone here that is watching this and i don't think so like why i don't know why you'd be watching this if you've never seen jaws i have a homework assignment for you okay I don't know where you watch your movies. I need you to go watch Jaws like right now. Like, like, what are you doing if you're if you haven't watched it? Like, it's so good. Uh, so give it a watch, guys, please, if you haven't already. And even if you have seen it, watch it again for me, okay? Jaws, absolute banger of a movie, ten out of ten. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It is your boy Tyler, and I'm out.